Hello. Welcome back. Um, all day, I've found myself reflecting on the person who came through last in last night's download. Um, and it was one of those things where it's like, I couldn't shake this person, you know, this person who is so desperate to feel special and to be in the light and to feel feel seen and like they have this sense of purpose and this like significance in a mystical process and you know it's I have a lot of comp compassion for this person and and their entities and you know, it's one of those things I'd be lying if I said that I've never had entities, that I've never struggled in that way, you know, struggled to recognize myself and my gifts. And, you know, particularly whenever I was in college and I was kind of just trying to be somebody that I wasn't in order to fit in with the people that I thought I belonged with, if that makes sense. Um, and at the same time, like I was observing my own ego past judgment on this person and dismissing all of those memories of whenever I was struggling like the little caterpillar inching along the ground and you know not knowing how to take flight and you know kind of just like this feeling of being a depressed little piece of driftwood lost at sea and not really having that support system around me to help me feel safe in surrendering to the current of life um, you know, just being like completely blind and unaware of myself and my actions. And I know last night, you know, it was like, don't give this person attention. You know, don't let them in your circle, cut ties with them, do cut cord cutting ceremonies and all that stuff. But, you know, it was still one of those things. It's like, you know, I want to be able to help this person from a distance and, you know, I've been basically sitting here by the fire all day, you know, just observing my own thoughts and, you know, particularly my ego mind versus my eco mind. And the ego mind was like, nah, they're all on their own. Like they have to figure it out themselves and, you know, they deserve isolation. And I was like, that's just ugly. That's just really ugly for, from my ego mind and then my eco 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 mind was like this person does deserve love and compassion and it was one of those things it's like hurt people hurt people and you know somebody who grew up feeling so unloved and unwanted like they may never have had that role model for relationships and for relating to others and perhaps that's what's been contributing to this like competitive relationship dynamic and the want to feel superior and like the the leader in all of their their groups right and so i opened up my my hand and dandy ipad and you know i asked spirit what what can we do for this person you know how can we help them from a distance without you know taking on their process as our own and, you know, how can we also, or was it, how can we, yeah, how can we help tend to their true self and pull that out without putting ourselves in harm's way? And Spirit's answer was so simple, yet so spot on. And it was pray, you know, pray for them. And Spirit said, pray they remember who they truly are. Pray they remember who they came here to be, the purpose they came here to live out. Do not demonize them. Hurt people hurt people. Pray for them. Pray they find compassion for themselves. Pray they learn the difference between their ego mind and their eco mind. Pray they remember they are not alone. Pray they remember what it's like to be loved, truly loved, for who they are at their core. Pray they understand they have their own path here in this conscious experience. Pray they loosen their grip on where their ego mind thinks it thinks it needs to go. Pray they grow aware of the power of the listener. Pray they have the courage and the confidence to go inward and sit with that darkness. 
Pray they meet that darkness as a friend and not an enemy to overpower or control. That darkness cloud breather, which is one of my first given names during a sweat lodge, I'll get to that eventually. That darkness cloud breather is their greatest source of light as it reflects to them who they are not, but who others told them they are or need to be. Pray they remember themselves and send them compassion and love throughout their journey. And so if that message last night, that download was for you, you know, please take that time to, to pray for this person, pray for their journey, you know, pray that they come back to themselves. And in that, you know, send them that courage, that love, that compassion, that strength to do the really difficult, scary work, you know? I'm, I'm the first to admit that on my journey, I perpetually meet this fear of the unknown, you know? Will the people in my life still love me when I change, you know? And, you know, what's wanting to come out is, you know, whenever I have changed, I have lost a lot of really deep relationships. You know, whenever I finally start showing up as myself, who I am in my authenticity, the universe, spirit, has a way of naturally shedding away those things that aren't meant for us, those people that, you know, may have served served us up until that point, but then we eventually need to move. Oh my God. There's a hawk. Oh, it just went behind the trees. There was a big hawk that just <laughs> flew, like dipped down into the yard, <laughs> went back into the tree line. Yeah, spirit is here with us. And so I do pray that they are able to differentiate that love from spirit, that guidance from spirit, from this entity that is just like puppeteering them right now. You know, and I, I pray for all of you who that message resonated with that, you know, you do find your own courage and strength, your own sense of compassion, not only for yourself, but th for this person. And so, yeah after praying and really just sitting with with my own ego to be quite honest i feel a lot less guilt in and by that i mean you know that guilt in not being able to hold this person's hand and walk them through their journey you know i'm only able to help the people who who ask me for it and who um, you know, whose spirit tells me like, yes, this person is, is one of the people you're here to help. You know, I'm, I'm not here for everyone. These messages aren't for everyone. The hawk is just, <laughs> I'm not quick enough to turn around the camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and all of this started, I shared a, what are they called? A short this morning. You know, I went out because the the sun just like the just like the the land looked so freaking majestic this morning. And as soon as I started recording, the hawks started calling out and the crows started cawing and immediately I was like, they're at war. It is the darkness versus the light and the crows were mobbing up against these two hawks and all i could hear was was cradle robber cradle robber and you know the hawk's nest isn't it's not over here by the house you know i was hearing it just out there and so the, the hawks the nest isn't over here so i knew it wasn't you know the crows actually going after their like fletchlings or anything but i just couldn't shake this feeling that the darkness was going after this person's inner child's and had like a stronghold on it and spirit is doing their thing in the unseen trying to protect this person you know their core self from the darkness fully consuming them and like it was said last night you know spirit 
is still wanting to bring this person back into the light spirit is still by their side that little white orb that's following them in this like dark dense fog and so we have a vulture flying overhead and so yeah i hope i do pray that they find patience with themselves within their process and really are able to recognize who they are and how special that is you know we're all different not one of us not one person on this earth is better than another one you know we are all designed perfectly unique we're all designed here to be different and that's part of the beauty of this conscious experience is that we experience it differently and we're able to talk about it with each other and share those things but you know the ego mind can feel so threatened by those different perspectives and you know in so many various ways of you know well no the way that i see is better or feeling inferior based on how somebody's experienced something or perceived something of like oh wait why didn't i see it that way you know if you're in human design like this is the power of outer authority is being able to learn from other people and and to recognize the wisdom that is within all of us you know and so yeah, I just wanted to drop in and share that. And yeah, I am I am praying for everybody out there that, you know, there isn't any undue stress, that there isn't this need to, you know, gatekeep everything in order to protect yourself from this person. And I do especially pray for this person that they're able to come back to themselves and come back into their light and feel safe you know, journeying through that darkness back to the light. And I pray that they recognize that spirit is right there with them. We have a couple cardinals that are <laughs> sitting up in the trees over here chirping. And so, yeah, that tells me that their ancestors are with them too. Anyways, I'm having just the best time relaxing here next to the fire, despite being covered in ash right after I showered. <laughs> I just don't but yeah I pray that this person does recognize the community that's there supporting them along the way not only in the scene but here in the mundane anyways nature is bringing life today <laughs> it's been absolutely gorgeous there is not one cloud in the sky though I do I do also really love cloudy days especially Anyways, that's enough. Um, I hope you'll have a terrific weekend and a happy new year.